My name is Ketana and I have been recently selected for the Microsoft SDE. My aim was to get into some product based company and DSA is very much important uh, to crack that. So I got to know that smart interviews train us on DSA. So that motivated me to get into smart interviews. My name is Ketana. I'm currently pursuing BTEC fourth year and I have been recently selected for the Microsoft SDE. After my internship, I got uh, this offer. In my internship, I had two rounds of interviews and then after clearing those interviews, I got selected for the SDE role for the full time. I think communication is very important in the interview. When they give you a particular question, you have to ask them the doubts that you have. You know, the edge cases and all those, you have to confirm it with the interviewer. Uh, I just want to share an, an incident which happened in my interview. I was given a question and I started solving it without even asking any uh, doubts. So I, I didn't even ask them to re-explain the question. Even though I had a few doubts in my mind, I just assumed things and I just started solving the problem. It was during my internship interview. Uh, it was in second round, I think. Uh, and then after solving the problem, uh, actually interview was for 45 minutes. Uh, he gave the first question and I solved it and for the second question I didn't ask him any doubts and I assumed the things and I started solving it and I nearly spent five to six minutes solving it and afterwards when I showed him the code uh, then he, he said that this is not the question so I was just in blank and then I, I, I tried to process things you know it takes time no, the opportunity is very rare and I thought of not missing it. So I just asked two minutes time and I just asked him doubts. Uh, I asked him the edge cases and all. I said my approach also this time. So that's how I think communication is very important during the interviews to not mess up with the things. Uh, during the initial days, I was actually placed in Noida for my internship. Uh, during initial days, it was very overwhelming, you know, the orientation and all that. They started giving tasks in, within one week. So, the tech stack is also completely new to us. So, it was very overwhelming in the initial days and later on from uh, the support that my mentor provided, that helped me a lot and, you know, learning. I think we should be adaptable to whatever the tech stack they give. You'll be given just two weeks of time to learn all the tech stack that we take, uh, you know, more than three months or four months if we learn it individually. So we just need to be adaptable to the situations and the tech stack, whatever they provide. During my internship, you know, they gave us a task and we have to just submit a draft, not complete the pro complete project. And I just submitted it. But after, you know, in smart interviews, I learned to write the code in a uh, nicer way, you know, to make it prettier. So, uh, after submitting the draft, you know, when we post, uh, get uh, comments and all, there will be many comments from the from our teammates. So, I faced a problem while making the code optimal and understandable. So, I think Smart Interviews taught me this, how to make the code understandable so that everyone understands it. During my internship interview, I had three rounds. First one was a coding round, where the questions were medium to difficult. It was all about trees and graphs. You know, the uh, DFS and you have to apply all the uh, approaches, you know. And a few questions were on trees also. Uh, the traversals, tree traversals, and graph. Uh, coding interview was mostly on trees and graphs. And after qualifying for that, we have two rounds of technical interview. First round, as we were in the second year while appearing for that interview, uh, for, they didn't ask uh, very difficult questions. It was mostly restricted to linked list and all. And they also asked us few basic concepts like OOPS and DBMS as well. Uh, interview questions were limited to linked list. Uh, and infix to postfix conversions and all. That was in the first round. And in the second round, they asked me about trees again, tree traversals and few applications of these traversals. Not direct applications, few indirect applications as well. Uh, 
uh, initially i didn't expect that i would get into microsoft specifically you know we call them man companies or fan companies i just i didn't even have a goal of getting into them i thought they were out out of my league and all but yeah after training and after seeing my friends getting placed and me not getting placed i think that is the one motivation which i got to crack a uh, little bigger companies and all no? i first gave my interview to adobe so i i failed in the second round i couldn't crack the questions and and then i just i told to my parents that you know even adobe is a good company to get placed and the package that they offered was also very decent package so i was very disappointed then and i just uh, told my father he was also a little disappointed he, he said that there might you might get into a, lit, a bigger company don't worry so but i never thought that his words would be true uh, i didn't even expect that i would be giving interview also getting a chance to give interview is also very rare i find my friends and cousins also struggling with the placements and all but i think uh, we should work hard and the luck factor is also important i guess to getting into smart interviews weekly we had two days of training which was from morning 9 to evening 4 in the initial days it was very very overwhelming sitting fr- sitting 9 to 4 you know brain has to continuously work to find the so it's not just sitting and listening the class it's not like classroom you know you have to think about the solutions when you are given an opportunity to uh, get trained i think you just cannot sit simply and pass the time you have your brain has to work continuously so initially it was overwhelming but i think uh, thanks to our mentor he made the classes very much interesting and you know he gave us breaks also so we don't feel that much stressed about it and the best thing was the solutions that he gave and few suggestions and he used to tell us about the interview experiences uh, of his friends or colleagues and few other college mates and company wise question questions and all i think uh, mentor plays a major role in your journey you know uh, recently we see 6th class 7th class students doing coding and all when i was 6th and 7th i don't even know what coding is i don't even know that there will be separate languages also uh, the languages only which i know is telugu hindi and english you know i one suggestion that i would give to my younger self is to have a goal from the beginning and you know just go towards it and know much more about it